What's up guys and welcome back. This is Asian Discovery YouTube channel. Thanks for coming in and this is the second video about high list of tank that I've been playing at Mobile Legends. So um, the, in the last episode I did not emphasize what tank emblem I was using. So I'm gonna explain a little bit more. I'm using obviously the tank emblem and that has um, I use uh, the fatality with three points, the inspire with two points, the fortress is one point and the tenacity talent. I focus more on the HP, like I said. Uh, you can put more on the inspire if you wanna do more of a cooldown thing. Still spam the third skill. Uh, I just wanted the fortress a little bit, just so I have a little bit more physical defense. Um, and you guys already know that on the tenacity talent, uh, if you're under 40% uh, HP, it increases uh, your uh, your armor and magic's defense stats. So, without further ado, me and my buddy Striden playing Zask. So we're running a duo on a classic, practicing this kind of um, team makeup. So we have three other randoms that we're playing uh, with. Um, just hope that you know we can win this battle and see how it goes. And so here it is. So right now I noticed that we have Granger. So I'm gonna plan to. Follow him first since he's the main damage dealer. I uh, want to make sure that I buff him up. I know Zask, my buddy Strident, he knows how to defend mid, so we're splitting up. I don't need to be with him. He's got an alien that can tank for him really well, and he knows how to escape with this guy really good. So, um, right now, I'm gonna observe Sammy Hansen 32 see how uh, good he is. So I'm fast forwarding the video for a little bit so we can go through it uh, a lot quicker. Uh, I don't want to stay too long in here. So um, I know we noticed that, um, actually I noticed that uh, they're invading our jungle so we're expecting someone that is like uh, really experienced in this kind of game. So um, me and Granger just are kind of defending the bottom and we're going to try to steal the buff, um, oh, not the buff, the, um, the crab here as much as we can. Unfortunately they stole it before we got the final kill for it. I tried to defend the perimeter to stun them and stuff. I'm going to say they got me pretty good in this one. And I have to pop in the shield and I unfortunately have to go home. Uh, I'm just observing the attributes and where we are at right now. I try to look at my HP, which is the one I'm really uh, focusing on. You'll see that I'm actually using the roaming mask uh, so I could buff up um, uh, Granger here. Um, right now it's like level 4. Um, just kind of defending the perimeter around the bot area. I know that they were um, around the area too, Rafaela and uh, um, Yuli. Yeah, I think that's her name, Yuli. And uh, momentarily, I did see Jawbreaker, uh, Jawhead over there. So, and uh, right now, I know that Granger is like trying to get the buff. So I'm trying to um, prevent uh, these two players from going any further. Uh, towards Granger. Um, now that I know it's Granger is there, so I decided to queue in my um, running in there, trying to go for the turret. Um, but I wasn't expecting Link to be coming in, so I did not see that on the map. So that's why I end up getting killed and Granger too. It was a bad decision on my part. I should have looked at the map where Link was supposed to be there. Um, but I took the risk, and I I was thinking that we can get it. So um, they end up getting the tower on the bottom. So I decided to just kind of hold back a little bit. And then uh, suddenly uh, we have um, Lancelot here. So I want to get my revenge, obviously. So um, uh, Lance uh, noticed that he's actually very strong on the damage too. So as I looked at the attributes earlier, um, going back to the base and then uh, got my life back here. So. I was uh, running a little too aggressive here because uh, thinking of a tank and not only that I'm actually pairing up with Striden because uh, I know his Zask can slow everyone down and uh, I trust him so much when he's playing next to me so uh, I'm a lot more confident playing next to him. Uh, since he went back home um, I decided to um, help out Lance to make sure that he's not going to get ganked. Um, and I noticed that um, there's a group of people in the mid, so uh, what Jawhead did here is actually pretty smart. I 
gave him kudos, he actually got me off the, the path. So um, this is one way for him to get the kill. So I decided to look at the attributes right now, look at the HP, and uh, it looks like our attributes weren't really matching theirs. Their, their stats are way better than ours still, so I should have looked at it earlier so I can actually see what's going on. Uh, but uh, but this one, I think I did a pretty good job on um, um, positioning, even though we're a little bit under stats. Um, but I think we did a good, good job positioning on that one, and that's why we managed to win that battle. Um, sometimes a lot of times the positioning that really matters uh, even though their stats a lot better than than we are um, so take that to your advantage so right now the, I already built up the roaming item already as you can see I have the encourage mask um, like I said in a previous video either go all in or sell it and get rid of it and um, but I like to build that encourage mask the fact that the, and the act when it's active, I can boost up my teammates and even me too. Uh, and then the item that I'm trying to build ASAP is um, the, the Clock of Destiny, so I can get that HP that I needed. Uh, the, the mana that comes with it also adds on to it, um, and uh, it adds more to the HP actually. So we're just. Um, I noticed that everyone's just fighting in mid, but I think eventually, yeah, I will start ulting in here. Um, I'm trying to dive into that mid tower, and luckily, Striden got the tower for us. So, and um, and after I res, I noticed that Ling was on the bottom, so I decided to um, clear bottom, and I end up killing Ling on that one uh, before he escaped. So uh, right now, we're just cleaning, clearing mid, and I noticed uh, someone's hitting top. And uh, so I started to move to the top over there, try to uh, position myself in here, um, dive into that grass. I already knew that those two guys were going to be there trying to... Um, so our positioning was really good in that one, so I altered um, right on that area pretty good. So right now we're all at mid and um, we have the advantage of that battle. So same thing here, uh, we knew that uh, the mid is... You know, everyone's there and I know that we have an advantage of this battle and try to push mid again. Uh, even though I died, um, we still have the upper hand because we end up getting the turret right afterwards. So I just had to look at the attributes. I'm already at 9k life and I look at the um, Dirith. I know their Dirith is very very strong so I have to keep an eye on that guy or at least try to focus on him and stun him any way I can because he would make a big difference on the, on the group battle. Um, we don't want him making a lot of kills. So in here, me and Lance uh, decided to tag team on this one. I know everyone's in the bottom battling, but I know that me and Lance can take care of Rafaela and Jawhead over here. So, and that's why we won that battle. So since uh, everyone, um, since I know Zass is uh, able to push bot, I decided to go to mid and uh, push more um, on mid um, for the minions and uh, as you notice my clock of destiny is really doing its job it's my life is already 11k it makes me really tanky and uh, yeah this Dirath man it's like trying to get my lands here so um, but he failed so because I'm like right around the corner and stunned him uh, if you look at Dirath he's still the, the top physical attack damage kind of guy and for magic you have uh, Lu Yi um, but compared to Louis, I like our Zass better, even though our Zass has lower magic damage. Um, but I know that Zass can defeat her uh, in regards to uh, in regards to um, slowing enemies down and area of effect. As you can see in that one, we won that battle, so we're really pushing mid, and um, basically we're I'm at, we're actually doing a pincer move now. Uh, so because I'm because I know I'm already at 13k HP and I'm very very tanky this time around so I'm a lot more confident and um, at the same time uh, it looks like the other three teammates that we have are starting to get our cue of when I start to ult and that everyone just goes follows through, um, through my ult and uh, one thing to note for here for sure um, what you saw there is that when you're about to do the ult and go into clash always look behind your uh, your whole group like what you saw there I saw Dira and uh, Rafaela coming from behind so I turned around and 
started making mayhem back there and uh, my teammates saw him too so they started attacking them and they all end up running away as you saw in that clash. So me and Zaz started pushing top and um, I'm very comfortable to be able to push against Rafaela but I decided to go home and kinda don't want to risk dying in that battle over there so. So I look at the attributes and you see the equipment we're using. Um, our Lance is at 762, our Granger is 737 attributes, so the battle, if we end up going to a group battle, we know that we win the whole clash. So um, uh, this one, uh, when I used this ult, I was just there to just scare them off and um, basically cause them to all separate. So um, the, yeah, we see this Jawhead um, got um, separated there. Here I made a huge mistake. I decided to um, extend towards Yu, uh, Lu Yi and um, I didn't know my teammates already left and that's how I uh, how I died but that's okay you know um, it happens so uh, tiny uh, you know, crucial moments like that can happen you know decision making and I make a mistake too so uh, as you can see in the stats um, there are man it's already almost it's all, almost 900 right there I'm like man that's scary so we gotta really always try to focus on him. Actually me, I'm trying to focus on him, trying to stun him so he can get he gets prevented from getting kills. Um, uh, let's let's look at uh, Strident here really quick. He likes to also get the objective by killing that um, Lord, which is great. So we got the Lord, so um, me knowing that we killed the Lord, I'm already preparing for a blitz on this one. So you'll see uh, Actually, you're gonna try to go mid. Along, I'm gonna try to walk with the Lord. Um, Ling is also trying to stir up some commotion up top, and um, but he already ran away. So yeah, as you can see in the mini map, I did my ult right there, and yeah, they uh, they're done at this point. Um, as you can see, uh, I use uh, also two curse helmets too. As you can see, um, he has a lot of HP. Uh, and on this one, oh man, look at that Biroth, it's like making a huge damage, but he was really focusing on me too, so uh, but my teammate got him, they have a lot more damage than I do I can only just stun him and get him off uh, everyone's back this one, uh, I just went straight to the turret of the base and um, even though I died, uh, I know that Strident will push towards the base some people are already running away, but it's okay, I know that Strident will actually get this base eventually. He's got high damage already that can damage the base. And um, as you can see, yeah, my HP is already at 15k. You know, um, I was hoping I'd hit like a 16k, or maybe at the end of this game, you see me hit a 16k. So, uh, fears that Strident died, but I knew that uh, this whole group were on top of here, and. Um, I was just waiting for that moment of that whole clash and you know, what you saw there. So um, our positioning is really good on this one. Um, we were actually up, but two of the biggest damage dealer in our team uh, died, unfortunately. But hey, we got Striden. He's the you know Zas. We got the next guy. Um, unfortunately for the Aurora one, uh, she didn't do too well in this one. She's the mythic in our team, but. Um, she was supposed, actually in the Celestial screen, she was supposed to pick a fighter, but she made a mistake and ended up getting Aurora. And that's why she's got a lot of deaths on that one. So she helped out a little bit in terms of um, uh, freezing opponents, but not so much because he ended up, she ended up feeding the opponent. So yeah, and then we got the base and um, uh, there'll be anyway, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video and um, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see uh, the next one. There'll be more of other videos I'm going to be doing with Hylos. Um, hopefully we can get the whole team and squad going. Probably do some rank game and stuff of like that with it too. So, till the next video. Thanks. Bye.